madman of Gadara. That's what they called me. I mean, I was so consumed with demons, I introduced myself as Legion. I guess that's what I was. Just a monster. Banished from the city to live outside in the tomb. And I tried. I, I tried to get them out of me. I did everything I could think of. I even used sharp rock and debris just to cut them out of me. My anatomy was worn down. My mind was torn, split apart in thousands of little pieces. You know, I didn't even own a single rational thought. It was like somehow it was just a fly in the wall, witnessing them tear me apart from the inside out. Everyone always asks me what it's like being dead. But no one asks what it's like meeting him. I was sick, horribly sick. I didn't know much of my condition, but I just knew it hurt. My father, Jairus, was a great dad. I knew he loved me, and he would always tell me not to worry but I knew he was afraid of losing me. In the town, there was rumors about a man named Jesus. Some called him crazy. Some called him the devil. But some called him Messiah. My dad believed it wasn't just rumors. And that if this man could just see me, I would be okay. Once we heard that Jesus was in town, my father immediately went out and searched for him. But, but then, it all went black. The day Jesus spat in my face, now I was used to being ridiculed. I mean, I'm the blind beggar for crying out loud. Fortunately for me, a few of my friends caught word that Jesus was across the street in Bethsaida. And when I heard the name Jesus, I kind of just froze for a minute. I was utterly speechless. When you've been begging your whole life, things get kind of old. I wonder what Jesus was thinking. Like, why would he stop for me? Just a blind beggar too proud to ask. But then one night, I saw a light right there on the shore. I felt a presence. As 13 men got off the boat, and everything inside of me jumped, and I knew we could take them out. So I barreled down the hill, and I ran after them, and I chased them, and all my violence, but they just stood there, looking at me, as if they were waiting for me. I heard a voice, a whisper, The voice was strong, yet comforting, like a rainstorm. Talitha Kun, little girl, it's time to get up. Then he took my hand. Such warmth in his hand, almost as if there was a charge in his grasp. He led me out the city and he spat on my face. Now, if I could see him, <laughs> we'd be fighting. But then he touched my eyes, and then he said, can you see? At first, it was dark, a little bit of movement, some fragments of light in the dark. Uh, so technically, I, I could see, but not very well. 
all my rage, all my evil desire just came into contact with a power I've never felt before. And that is when the ancient spirit inside of me introduced me to his name. Jesus, son of the most high God, they said. Why do you come to torment me? Torment. And that is when this man looked at me. And the darkness covering my eyes was painted with light. And I saw my mom shocked, my dad holding back tears, and I saw a man. Then he touched my eyes again. And then I opened them and there was light everywhere. There was colors everywhere. I could see, I could finally see. My vision was restored. My friends, they were laughing, they were cheering, they were clapping. Legion, the demon just came out of me and, and ran and ran to a herd of swine and they barreled down the hill and drowned in the lake doing really anything, just trying to get it out of the presence of Jesus. And then the whole city heard about it and they came running in unbelief they saw they saw me the the madman of Gadara just sitting there clothed and in my right mind and I saw looking at me was Jesus the Messiah my literal source of life they could not believe it I did I could see Jesus Christ, my healer. Now, if anyone were to ask me if he's the Messiah, I would say I believe. There's something so indescribable, and yet something I never want to stop talking about is the moment I believed. I believe. It's moving here.